Hi, my name is Junaid. I am a PhD student in Geomatics, uh, University of Florida, based in Gulf Coast Research and Education Center, Vimaoma. So we are working on conserving water in strawberry production using intermittent sprinkler irrigation during establishment. Uh, with uh, Dr. Amr Abdel Rahman, Associate Professor in Geomatics, uh, based in GCREC Plant City, and Dr. Akehara Shinsuke, Assistant Professor in Horticulture, based in GCREC Pemaoma, University of Florida. So, Florida is facing significant challenge in muting, meeting future water demands, uh, like like every other tropical country and uh, by 2035 public water is public water supply is projected to increase by 23 percent and agricultural irrigation by six percent so agricultural water use uh, takes around 40 percent of florida's twin, uh, total water consumption and uh, the winter crop in florida that's strawberry and during the season long uh, during the season long uh, water use 40 to 50 percent of that is used just in the first 14 days which we called as establishment period so what happens with uh, strawberry crop in florida is most pro most commonly among growers so the bare root transplant of strawberry is used that means florida has uh, strawberry has bare root transplant and plug plug transplant so plug transplant has roots with it so uh, it does not need this overhead sprinkler irrigation as you can see here and that means some some sprinkler which uh, which sprays the water onto the on the plant onto the leaves uh, but since uh, bare, root, bare root transplant is commonly used in Florida, in that case, that means the plant does not have well matured roots. So when plants are uh, when plants are planted onto the field, so initially for 10 to 14 days, uh, overhead sprinkler irrigation like this is used, wherein plants initially are kept cool by this type of irrigation overhead sprinkler irrigation till the plants establish roots which uh, takes around 10 to 14 days so during so this amounts around 40 to 50 percent of the total water that is used entirely into the onto the strawberry crop during the winter season so uh, as you can see it's a lot of water that's being used just in the first two weeks so so our goal is to reduce this amount of overhead irrigation by something called intermittent or surge irrigation so our specific objectives are to quantify the water saving how much water we can save by using these uh, surge irrigation or intermittent irrigation method and then examine the impact of this surge irrigation onto plant growth and the fruit yield of strawberry and then demonstrate the feasibility of this method to florida growers and agricultural research community so the study area is gulf coast research and education center which is in hillsborough county uh, in vimauma uh, in florida uh, so our, our our crops are somewhere located our field is somewhere located here So the experimental design is randomized split plot design, wherein we have four irrigation programs. One is control, in which we the water is kept on from morning 8 a.m. to evening 6 p.m. during the entire day. Then another in which the water is kept on for 10 day 10 minutes and then 10 minutes off, and then another program is 15 minutes off, and another program is 20 minutes off. That means we have four irrigation programs set in this field, as you can see in this UAV imagery here. So we have different sprinklers uh, which are timed using a mist time, which are timed using a timer. Uh, for uh, water to be off in some it is some plots for 10 minutes and in some plots for 15 minutes and in some plots for 20 minutes and then as you can see we are testing three varieties uh, florida 127 commonly called as sensation florida brilliance and then florida medallion 
So this is the data collection. This is this is the these are the overhead sprinklers which sprinkle the water during the establishment period. So during this period, we use this uh, handheld thermal camera and we collect the data six times a day at two hourly intervals from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, at the beginning of the off period of the of a particular irrigation program and at the end of the off period of the irrigation program. So by that I mean. Uh, let's say if I am taking these pictures on a 20 minute off uh, irrigation program, so I will go and collect the data when the irrigation, when the sprinklers are just off. And then when by the end of this off period, that means in the 18th or 19th minute, I will go and collect the pictures again to see you know, what is the temperature difference or what how much temperature has increased since we kept uh, since we kept the sprinkler off so as to see if there is any effect of heat or heat stress onto the plants later on. So then we also use a drone. This is the thermal drone. We collect data three times a day during the establishment period, uh, morning, in the midday and by the evening. And uh, we also do this canopy projected area is also estimated by taking the overhead pictures of the plants uh, at regular intervals and then as the standard practice is to measure the yield uh, as the strawberry crops grow we also take note of the yield and then results uh, so here uh, we have this th temperature that was that was collected using the handheld thermal camera. So you can see on the x-axis you have time from 8 a.m. 8 a.m. These are the instances when the data was collected: 8 a.m., 10 a.m., uh, and so on. And this is the leaf temperature, that is temperature of the leaves. And then this is the bed surface temperature or the temperature of the plastic mulch on which plants are placed. And then this is start of off duration. That means when the sprinklers are just off. And then this is end of off duration. That means at the end of the, each program. So first we have this dash uh, dash. First we have this solid line, which is the control. As you can see, the dotted line is 10 minutes off. This dash line with hollow triangle is 15 minute off program. And then dashed line with triangle fill fill triangle is 20 minutes off so we can see the temperature is increasing with the increasing off duration that means the heat stress or effect of heat stress if there is any would be more in the 20 minute off irrigation program followed by 15 minutes and 10 minutes and then by the end of the off duration that means uh, if we go at the for, if this is an irrigation program for 10 minutes so if we go at the ninth minute and collect the collect the collect the temperature collect the uh, pictures thermal images so you see there is a there is a slight increase in the temperature for each program 10 minutes 15 minutes and 20 minutes while the control is same because the water is always on and then same goes with surface bed temperature we can see as the irrigation as the off duration increases temperature increases and then uh, both in the start and end but then by the end of the off duration you see there is a there is a there is a significant increase in the temperature if you see for the 20 minutes it goes up to 55 while as uh, the uh, just uh, it is start of the off duration the temperature is around 44 and here the temperature range is 25 to 38 so this is just to give an idea that there is uh, there is the temperature increase in both the plant tissue and the plastic mulch as the irrigation program is off. Then coming to the marketable yield. So what was there any effect on these of these programs on the yield? So let's see if we see Florida 1 to 7 or commonly called a sensation. So we have these letter grade here. So A means best followed by B, C, D similarly. So if we see this letter is shared by all the programs, that means there is no significant uh, reduction or change in the yield. So as we see uh, in the month of December, January and February, there is no change in the yield of sensation. If we take total also into concentration, there is no change into the in the yield or significant statistically significant decrease in the yield however if we see you can see there is a slight increase uh, with the with off irrigation programs uh, in the sensation and then brilliance shows that uh, shows an increase of 25 35 percent as the irrigation as the off duration or increases 
of duration of the sprinklers increase so you have an increase in yield and then and then florida medallion also does not you see there is no significant uh, change in the yield in the beginning in, in the beginning in december the, you can see there is a there is slight there is a slight dip in the yield but it's not statistically significant because you find the same letter c in all the programs everywhere so so and these are statistically significant as you can see with the p value here so what uh, we think that this increase in the yield of uh, florida brilliance may be with the increasing off cycle duration maybe because of the promoted senescence uh, so what happens is when there is a heat stress so plant leaves respond to that by senescing their leaves or some tissues so that 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 accelerates the translocation of the nutrients to the rest of the plant or to the crown so that means when plants leaves start to build uh, senes or die so they they start releasing the nutrients whatever is left in them to the rest of the plant so that's what may be increasing the yield in brilliance then if we look into the um, canopy projected area here again you will see and uh, that uh, there is a cultivar dependent response that means uh, if we see florida brilliance here again you can see there is an increase in temp there is an increase in canopy area uh, if we just take total into consideration there is a there is there is an increase although you find this letter b all everywhere but still there is an increase in the canopy projected area as the as the as the irrigation of time duration is increased from 0 to 20 minutes so what this tells us that marketable yield shows a significant cultivar and intermittent irrigation interaction where in florida brilliance showed uh, increase in yield with increasing off cycle duration uh, while as a canopy projected area shows a cultivar dependent response that means brilliant showed an increase in canopy projected area with the increasing off cycle duration so by this we can see that intermittent irrigation can save us a significant amount of water that means if 20 minutes of uh, program is used we can save 66 percent of the water that's used during the establishment period and 15 minute uh, of program can save us 60 percent and 10 minute of program can save us 50 percent of the water that's used during the uh, irrigation during the establishment of this crop so the future work in this domain is that we are going to quantify the leaf area of the initial leaves of the crop mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, try to uh, try to quantify the senest part and come with a visual rating to see the how 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 fast or how slow the senescence of leaves is happening and is there any relation to the temperature and then we also are going to use uh, infrared thermometer uh, with along with a uh, handheld thermal camera uh, to to uh, to record the temperature and then also the drone image uh, to be processed for better uh, to see if then the temperature uh, that is recorded by the drone camera is is similar to is is having what is the relation with the uh, ground based thermal images and the image is captured using the drone based camera so if if it is if it is if it, there is not much change that means it will be easy to use a drone based camera to monitor the crop during the season and this is a picture uh, which is the ortho image that is uh, that is generated using the uh, images collected using thermal drone so you can see here the dark pixels show the less temperature while as the brighter pixels show the higher temperature so these dark dark pixels are the plots where in our program our experiment is set so uh, then we have this uh, thermal image index that means uh, these are the represent the temperature uh, at the pixel level of 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 the of the of the image in the image so we have analyzed this to see what is the what is the what is the relation if any with the ground based uh, thermal images so this is the geomatic steam that's based in plant city and then this is our horticulture team that's based in uh, Vimama Balm, Florida 
Uh, that's all from my side. Thank you so much.